you may be a student or a teacher maybe an employee or a sales person whoever you might be if you are trying to make a presentation that will stand out from your peers then this video is for you hi i'm joe from team animaker in this video we will see how to create an awesome presentation super quick introducing animaker deck a simple online tool to create stunning presentations if your presentation normally looks like this you will struggle to keep your audience's attention throughout your session so let me show you how it can look instead yes this is a presentation i made now on animaker in just a few minutes now let me show you how you can create the same yourself open your browser and visit the website animaker.com/deck click on the start now option and sign up for a free account it will redirect you to the dashboard of animaker now select the create option on the left followed by selecting create a presentation the interface of animaker deck is simple to understand right side you have the slide section on the left is the library and on the center you have the currently selected slide and open any presentation starts with a title slide which tells us what the whole presentation is about let's start creating the title slide for this presentation by adding an animation character to it go to the character section on the library now you have two options you can use any of the pre-built characters over here or you can build your own customized animation character let's see how to create a customized character open the my character section and click on this create your avatar option choose a gender and a basic template and start building over it hairstyle skin tone facial features attire you can customize anything that you wish with so many options to choose from you can literally create billions of unique characters using this character builder once done save your character now get back to your project and hit refresh to find your new character in the my character section of the library you can select that character and use it in your presentation for my presentation however i'm going to use a character that is pre-built and readily available in the library after you select a character on the right side you can see a new window it contains all the actions that can be applied to your character there are more than 500 different actions you can use the search bar to find the right one let's change the background to add colors to the background click anywhere on the slide you can see a new option appearing on the right you can change the color over here you also have options to add multiple colors but i want to add a 2d background to this slide for that i'm selecting the background section of the library you have wide variety of options to choose i want a background looking like an office so i'm opening this office section at the top you can also customize the background further by clicking over it once you click on it a few more options will appear it is called the item menu and it has an option called change color which allows you to edit the colors of the background now i'm going to add text to the scene to add text open the text section in the library you have two different options to add text pre-built text designs and customizable text boxes pre-built text designs are a good option for adding titles click on the design that you like and add the text you want now i am going to use the change color option in the item menu and change the color of all the objects present in this pre-built text design as the last step for the slide i want to animate both the character and the text to animate click on the animate option over here it will open the animation panel each object will have two options to animate the first option allows you to control when that specific object will appear under the first option we have four more options let's see how each of these options will work if we select the option on click when we present the object will appear once we click let me show you how it works i'm selecting the on click option for both the character and the text so if i present now you can see first the slide appears and then on the first click the character appears and on the second click the text appears if you want the text to appear first and the character to be appearing next you can do that by shuffling their order in the animation panel now i'm moving the text to the top of the order and the character to the bottom let's present and see how this works on the first click the text appears and on the second click the character appears 
Like this, by using this order of the objects in the animation panel, we can control when an object should appear. If I select the option on load, the object will appear along with the slide. For example, if I select the on load option for the text and on click option for the character, while presenting, the text appears earlier along with the slide as we gave on load option to it and the character will appear once we click as we gave the on click option to it. If we select this option after previous, this object will appear after the appearance of the previous object. For example, I am selecting the on click option for the text and after previous option for the character. While presenting, the text appears first as you click and then the character appears after that. If I select the with previous option, it will appear together with the object previous to it. For example, I am selecting the on click option for the text and with previous option for the character which means the character is going to appear along with the text. So while presenting, first the slide appears and then once you click, the character will appear together along with its previous object text. For this presentation, I want all the objects to appear along with the slide when it loads. So I'm selecting on load for all the objects. Let's see how to use the second option. The second option allows you to add animation effect to the objects. There are a lot of animation effects to choose. I'm selecting the move from left option for the text and enter from right option for the character. Let me present and show you how these effects look. So based on the animation effects we gave, the character entered from the right and the text moved in from the left. If you select this option apply to all objects, this specific animation effect will be applied to all the objects in the current slide. And if you select this other option apply to all slides, this animation effect will be applied to all the objects throughout your presentation. It's as simple as that. Let's create a new slide. Go to the slide section and click on the add slide option over here. But instead of adding a new slide and working from scratch, we can use this duplicate slide option to recreate the current slide and edit over it. Let's start by changing the background. I'm going to the background section and adding a new background. Let's change the background colors to match the previous slide. As the next step, I want to edit the text. This time, I want to use the customizable text box. So I'm deleting the pre-built text design and adding a new text box from the text section. Let's customize the font style, color and size. Let's change the action of this character to match the text in this current slide. I want him to look like he's working. I'm using the search option to find the right action. We can use the object section to better the slide. The object section will have simple objects like shapes to any kind of real life object like phones, tables, etc. I want to add a clock to this scene. Few of the objects have an additional animate option. Using that you can make your slides more interesting. Once you are done with adding all the objects to the slide, the final step is to fix the animation option for all the objects. I am selecting on load option for all the objects. Now I am going to repeat the same steps and complete the remaining slides in this presentation. I have completed creating all the slides. This is the last slide of the presentation. Let's make this slide a bit more interesting by adding some GIFs. Go to the images section over here and click on the Jiffy section. Animaker deck is integrated with Jiffy.com to provide you with tons and tons of GIFs. There are two more categories under Jiffy. One is the regular GIFs and the other one is the stickers. Stickers are GIF without background. We are going to add a sticker to this slide. I am using the search bar to find the right GIF. As the last step in creating this presentation, we are going to add transition effect between the slides. For that, we are going to use the add transition effect option present between the slides. Try out among these different effects and select the one you like. Instead of going to each slide and applying a transition effect, 
Use this apply to all slides option to apply this same transition effect to all the slides. Let's see how to present. Click on this present option at the top. It will open the slides in the present mode. Use the arrow keys on the bottom to move through the slides. Or you can simply click on your mouse or use the arrow keys on your keyboard to do the same. If you press escape, you will get back to the edit mode. The share option over here lets you work in live collaboration. Just type in the mail id and share this presentation with anyone with just a single click. Now you know the secret trick to create an awesome presentation. Aren't you excited to create your own animated presentation? Then why is the wait? Use the link in the description and start right away.